Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at an older deck, very old, over 10 years old. It was uh, released back in the summer of uh, 2013. Um, I own the Angels of Atlantis, and this is by the same author, I believe, and I didn't have this. Um, so it's nice to, to get this as well. It's called Angel Heart Sigils mystical symbols from the angels of atlantis by stuart pierce author of the angels of atlantis which um uh, which i do own that deck and i can't recall if i did a walkthrough on that but if i did i'll link it and i'll also link it um uh, the link um to amazon for that as well if you guys happen to be interested and it is uh published by Finehorn Press. And a big shout out to Finehorn Press and Inner Traditions for sending this deck out to me to review. It is an older deck, so um, I had requested it. Usually um, they send out a little newer, more up and coming deck, but uh, I asked if I could review this and voila, here we are. So there's no thumb hole cut out. As you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. It's a little tight, but we got it. Olive green inner lining, guidebook. And here's the inside, the back. As you can see, there's a few picture of the cards. Will allow you to experience the heart love of the angels of Atlantis. I'm not gonna read all that because I'm eager to look at the cards and we'll take a look at the guidebook in depth after we look at the cards. So here are the backs. So it looks like the box. And these look like light language or maybe angel language. Very powerful. Uh, of course, it's not reversible. Size are not gilded, plasticky. Um, as you can see, the reflection sheen there. On the thinner side, flexible, bendable, pliable. Not too, too thin, but it is on the thinner side. Comparing it to a Hay House uh, Oracle card, it is taller and a little wider. So definitely larger than a Hay House Oracle card. And then just to give you uh, an idea frame of reference comparing it to applied back tarot it's larger of course so larger than standard oracle card size or at least hay house standard oracle card size but not too too large all right so it looks like we have the angel name up top and then their sigil i believe which is like their energy signature and then a keyword so let's zoom in and take a look here and zoom back out a tiny bit. All right, so Gabriel Bliss. And just flipping through, skimming through really quick before I turn on the camera, it, it's, it appears there's uh, several cards with the same angel name and keywords on it, and then they move on to the next angel. So we have Gabriel Illumination, Gabriel Insight, very pretty imagery gabriel prophecy and then we go to hanael champion hanael innocence hanael loyalty hanael victory and then jophiel adventure jophiel celebration jophiel thrill Jophia Wonder, then Metatron Adoration, Metatron Charisma, Metatron Jubilance, Metatron Magnification, and then Michael Boldness, Michael Exaltation, Michael Protection, Michael Sovereignty, and then Raphael Embrace, Raphael Harmony, Raphael Resolution, 
Raphael Sympathy. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> Next is Raziel Devotion. Raziel Enigma. Raziel Eternity. Raziel Humility. And then Sandafon Assurance. Sandafon Stillness. Shamayel Cherish. Shamayel Genius. Shamayel Orientation. Shamayel Reconciliation. Uriel I Ideal. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Yurio Veneration, Zakio Acceptance, Zakio Beloved, Zakio Luxury, Zakio Pleasure, and then Zakio Anticipation, Zakio Awe. These, uh, Illustrations are really pretty. Zakio Delight. Zakio Euphoria. And that's the last one. Here's another look at the back. Let's take a look at the guidebook. Angel Heart Sigils. Mystical symbols from the angels of Atlantis. What are the Angel Heart Sigils Oracle cards? Gifting you something so special, they give you their hearts. Eternally loving, enor enormously gentle, flowing with grace, and yet strong, bold, courageous. All right, so it goes to, on to explain how to use the oracle cards. The three-card oracle, first revelation. The nine card oracle, second revelation, the one card, the 12 card, angel characteristic, bliss, illumination, insight, prophecy, champion, innocence, loyalty, victory, adventure. Okay, so these, so it goes straight into the cards. The 12 cards. Okay. Angel characteristics. And then it goes straight into the card. So there's a write up. And then I guess the write up about the keywords as well. Oh, so you have insight and then a little write up. No picture of the cards. So, should we shuffle? Zoom out a little, shuffle. Okay, so it's too long for me, for my petite hand to stretch that way. It's a little long. It's a little long. If I get it all even, it's okay. So it's a little uncomfortable for if you have petite hand, but of course you can do it this way. Raphael, I feel like he wanted to, I felt energetically like that wanted to come out. So I'm just gonna pull that to look it up in the guidebook. Of course, this way is fine. And then, let's see if we can riffle shuffle. We can. We can riffle shuffle. All right, so let's see what this is all about. Raphael. Of course, he's the healing angels for those who are familiar. And then embrace. So how do they have this? I have this in order by, I guess the order we went through. Let's see how the table of contents, do they have a table of contents? I don't, I do not. Okay, so I guess I'll have to flip through. So it's first it was Gabriel. I think Raphael was towards the back, if I remember from our flip through. 
Raphael, Xenophon, so not the quickest way to look up the cards, as you can see, I'm having difficulty, Raphael, Michael, And do they have a table of contents? They don't. Okay, so the order is not that great. The deck was, it looks like it's, it wasn't, or is it by uh, the keyword? Is it by the keyword? Okay, it is. No, because that's P. I don't know. I found it anyway. So, Raphael Embrace, the Holy Healer. Raphael scatters the red rose of passion at your feet when you truly yield to allowing the masculine and feminine aspects of your being. The great yanging impulses to flow be beautifully through your, through your life. The weaving treeness of both male and female forms symbolizes the god and goddess archetype. Aspects of your adoring nature, the red rose is a constant gift of presence in the sacred marriage. Choosing this card indicates that you haven't been fully present with these aspects of your living, with the doing and the being, the actioning and the yielding, the divine and the profane. Therefore, Raphael's heart sigil wishes to heal this imbalance, to allow the flow of the universal force to move through your roots to the uppermost reaches of your branches and thence to embrace the fullness of you in form and feeling. Chant Ha through the base chakra, the Mulahara, to awaken this balance within you. And then there's... Um, the other cards under Raphael. So, you know, this is very perfect. So it's about balancing the divine feminine and the divine and the divine masculine. And Red Rose of Passion. You know what? I just realized today I'm recording this on Saturday the 10th, four days away from uh, Valentine's Day. And Raphael is uh, bringing this, uh, this message of embrace and divine feminine divine masculine so uh a twin flame message perhaps a love message perfect in time for valentine's very very synchronistic it just dawned on me how about that all right so if you don't own the deck and you are interested and you love angels and you want to work with an angel deck with beautiful uh, illustration. I will put the link in the description, uh, the links in the description uh, underneath the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.